Alright, this is number three from the 2011 Calc AB exam, and it is the typical area and volume problem. Although it's non-calculator, which is sort of becoming a theme later on. Um, so, the uh, first part is we have to write the equation on the tangent line to the function f of x at x equals one half. Um, so f of x is given as 8x cubed. This question is, uh, I don't know, kind of a joke. So, uh, we take the derivative, uh, we plug in one half. Um, which gives us 24 times 1 fourth, which is 6, so that's the slope. Uh, we plug in 1 half to the original function, that's 8 times 1 half cubed, which is just 1. Uh, and then we use point slope form. So y minus 1 equals 6, the quantity x minus 1 half, and that's all there is to part A. I would not simplify that, and I would move on to part B, which is to find the area of the region R. So that's going to be the integral of top takeaway bottom. Um, which I guess you have to know that x cubed, or 8x cubed is below sine of pi x. Um, but hopefully you know that at this point. If you don't, just plug in some value, I guess, uh, and you can see that they would work out that way. Um, so that's going to give, also if you just do it wrong, you'll get the negative of the correct answer, and you'll know you have to switch. Anyway, uh, to integrate sine of pi x, uh, I know that there should have been a pi out there. Um, so there's 1 over pi, and then I'm going to get cosine, so negative. All the co-functions give you negative when you anti-derive them. So negative 1 over pi, cosine of pi x, and then uh, plus 1 times the reciprocal here gives us minus 2 x to the fourth, and then from 0 to, pi, to 1 half, rather. So um, we're plugging in 1 half which gives us the cosine of pi over 2 is 0, so negative 1 over pi times 0 drops out. Uh, plug in 1 half to the 4th is uh, 1 16th, so negative 2 times 1 16th is negative 1 eighth, and now we have to plug in 0. Um, the cosine of 0 is 1, so negative 1 over pi minus 0, and then this simplifies to 1 over pi minus 1 over 8, and that's the area of A. Uh, the next thing we're asked to do is to rotate r around y equals 1. So I'm going to add y equals 1 to the picture. I'm going to draw in the big radius that I get. I'm going to draw in the smaller radius and uh, make sure I identify the functions correctly. So f of x is that function, and there's g of x. All right, so the volume is going to be pi times the integral from 0 to 1 half of the, um, the big radius, which is outer minus axis squared, or in this case, I'm going to do axis minus outer. So 1 minus g of x, uh, 1 minus f of x, I'm sorry, quantity squared, and then um, minus, and then axis minus inner in this case, so the quantity 1 minus uh, g of x, quantity squared, and then put a dx, and that's the whole thing. And they don't ask you to evaluate that, kind of thankfully, because that'd be a lot of work. Um, but there you go. So I hope this was helpful. Good luck.